Hey everyone, my name's Abe. I'm the training engineer here at Greylog. And the other day there was a great post put up by Ion Storm about integrating Greylog logs and adding some intelligence from your MISP threat sharing portal. So today we're gonna dive into that a little bit. So if you fire up your MISP and go to events automation, this is where all the information we need lives. You need your API key found right at the top. That's your API key. Below you'll see your URL. And if you scroll all the way down, you'll even see the headers that we need. These are the important pieces right here, these headers. When you fire back up to your gray log portal, what we want to do is we're going to create a lookup table. I've already made it, but we're going to, we're going to watch, we're going to, show, we're going to show you everything that goes on it anyway. So when you create a new data adapter, if you look at the buttons on the top right, we're going to start at the furthest right out. So we're going to create a new data adapter. We're going to create an HTTP JSON path. And from here, we're going to give it a name. We're going to give it a short name to refer to it later. And what we need are those details from that MISP portal. We need the lookup URL. Again, this is also in Ion Storm's tweet. Great work. So that's the URL. That's my URL. The lab is stumbling in. So MISP.stumbling in, attributes, rest search, value, and then the dollar sign and the key in brackets, curly braces. That's the value we're going to send to it. If we want to play around and see what some of it looks like, we can launch the actual curl. Like this is just manually curling the URL and seeing how it looks. It's perfect JSON, so I could pipe it to JQ and you'll see it's the response. If you read the blue text response attributes that we get into the um, numbered list, the, the, the square, bra square brackets. And here you can see some of the details that come down from a valid search. We could see things like category, which again, Ion Storm said, hey, that's the great single value to return, category. I agree, perfect. Then what we need further down is we need to add those HTTP headers. So if you see the block that says name and value, that's where you know we just write accept application JSON exactly as it appears on the MIST portal. Once we have the three headers in there, we've got the URL, double check your typos, make sure you've copied and pasted everything. Next, we need to add the cache. So this is how long we're gonna hang on to that data for. You can tune this as you see fit and as you need to, but if you just wanna get it up and going, you can basically give it a name or description and hit save. The next is doing the actual lookup table. The part that really matters here is this name. So when we give it a name here in the lookup table, we can add some more uh, details just for searching and dashboards down the road. But that name in that name block that's highlighted, that's what we're gonna use in our pipeline rule. And then we select the data adapter we made and the cache that we made, the cache that we made. So here's the pipeline rule and how it looks. On my particular Sophos firewalls, I have a field called domain. So I'm gonna show, shove all the domains into the MIS threat feed. In my lab, I've set up the COVID themed malware indicators. So we're gonna go have a look. If you remember right, we set a single value category, category of MISP category. This is my favorite part of verifying. Let's go click on some COVID themed malware. Oh, cool. Some Russian casino is going to solve all my problems. There we go. Now I have some results. As with anything else, of course, the next thing you do is set up some dashboards, alerts, make it all nice and pretty and make it so you're well aware when these things get clicked on. As always, when you want to see some really, really cool stuff, when you want to see the parameterized dashboards, when you want to see automated alerts and really kick off some serious magic, give our experts a call and find out how to do it. Thanks for taking the time, giving me a couple of minutes, and once again, shoutouts to Ion Storm and the MISP project. I'm Abe. Thanks for watching.